it's um, 6.30 in the morning, which is too early for me. I am not a morning person. I am not a night person. I'm an afternoon person, okay? The afternoon is my time. It's not the afternoon. Why am I up at 6.30 in the morning? Um, because Nova has her six month vet checkup today just to get her blood sugar test. So she can't eat, you know, for a couple hours before that. I'm feeding her now to make sure she eats a little bit. Then she's gonna be cut off. I'll explain this later. But it's not 6.30 in the morning. I'm just feeding Nova, okay? I'm doing a vlog today. Freedom, 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 freedom. Prison. Okay, so I'm gonna actually explain to you guys what's going on instead of this weird morning version of myself that can't properly explain a concept. Honestly, I do not remember half of this happening. I just know that it happened because I have video evidence of it, but it, my brain doesn't remember it, so that's proof enough that I was half asleep still. So basically what's happening today is Nova's getting her six month checkup. Nova does go to the vet every single month to get a Lupron shot for her adrenal disease, which is something I'll talk about later in the video. But every six months she gets a wellness exam and a blood sugar test just to make sure everything is still functioning properly and her dose of prednisolone, which she's on for her insulinoma, is working properly and we don't need to change that dosage. With senior ferrets, it is really important to be taking them to the vet every six months just because their health can really rapidly decline. Um, even if you have nothing wrong with your senior ferret, I really still do recommend going every six months just to make sure that that nothing wrong continues to be nothing wrong. The reason I'm up so early is because when Nova gets her blood sugar test, she needs to fast for a couple hours before just so that it's her natural blood sugar and it isn't affected by any food that she's been eating. So because of that, I woke up at 6.30 to get her a little bit of food in her system just so that she has eaten, you know, relatively recently and then I'm gonna fast her for the next couple hours before her vet appointment. After I feed her, I'm also gonna be taking her into my bedroom to sleep the rest of the night in there, just so that I don't have to take the food away from the other ferrets. They'll still have access to it, but she won't be able to get to it. I know she'll be a little bit lonely, but it's just for one night and she will have me to snuggle with. So, you know, that's something at least. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's basically what's going on. Uh, let's cut to actual morning Kenya where she knows what she's talking about. Good morning, friends. It's now a human time to be awake. Um, I mean, I guess some, some people get up at 6.30. I don't. My nose is super plugged, not because I am sick, but because I work at a pet food store and I'm allergic to dogs. So every morning after a day where I've been at work, it's, it's a little congested, you know? Because my body says, why are you doing this to yourself? And I'm like, well, I got a pet dog somewhere. So sorry, body. The ferrets, well, the younger ferrets are all awake. Uh, Nova is still asleep in our bedroom and she's just gonna stay there probably because we have to leave in about an hour. Alex is working from home this week, which has been really nice. So he woke up this morning before me and let the ferrets out. So I didn't really get to see them much this morning. Um, but I did wake up to the noise of du really loud duking and Alex running around the apartment. So that was kind of cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get these guys some breakfast. Then just kind of take it easy this morning. Um, the dig box is open. Lyra's been having a bit of a dig. She loves having a dig every morning. So it's Friday today and today my ferrets are going to be eating this pork chop. Um, I wanted to get my ferrets onto some more red meat and they were on sale when I went to get raw food. So I thought, you know what, I will buy one and see how they like it. They had one last week and they did pretty good with it. They ate most of it. So I think that that was good and they liked it. Um, and then I'm serving that alongside some duck neck. This one looks kind of fatty. So I'm gonna cut some of that fat off of it. I'm gonna cut this up, add in the lamb grind and their bone broth. And then it is time to eat. Andromeda sits here and begs for food whenever I'm cutting up their breakfast. And if I don't give it to her, she bites me. The only time, she, ow, it's the only time she ever bites me is when she does this. And ugh, God, you are such a brat. Here, I'll give her some pork. There, she has dirt all over her face too from the dig box. That's nice. Can you take it please? Are you gonna eat it or are you just gonna lick it? You got two options here, my girl. There you go. Now she'll just sit here and, and lick and eat her food. And if I don't finish cutting this up before she is done eating that one piece, she'll bite me again. You're a brat. 
and this is what breakfast looks like once it's all diced up and ready. And then I cut the other half up, but that is gonna be for dinner tonight. Um, these girls are very, very hungry, I think. They're giving me the, the eyes. Come on. Yeah, yeah, it's breakfast time. Oh, there she goes, right in there. She's gonna sniff it and then she's gonna walk away. That's what she does every time. Yep, and she just wants to know what it is. She'll be back later. There's a Lara. I haven't seen you yet this morning. She always sleeps in. She gets up when breakfast is served and not a moment earlier. Good morning, baby. Um, I don't know where Luna is. She's normally the first one to eat, but I don't know where she is. I think she might be asleep in Alex's office, in which case she will wake up when she's hungry. For now, I have half an hour till I have to leave, so I'm gonna- Oh! Jokes. I don't know where you came from, Luna. Your breakfast is up there. What? It's up there. I said what? It's up there. Where's your breakfast? I don't know what that means. Don't look at me like that. Look, it's right here. Do you want this? There she goes. Go get your breakfast. Oh, food? You should have said so sooner. There she goes. My food. I will mess you up so bad if you don't move in two seconds. Lyra, you know better than to bother your elders. Okay, Kislev is not eating first today. That's rare. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Did she bully you? Yes. I miss being an only child. <laughs> okay. Um, I gotta clean litter boxes is what I'll spend my time doing. they can poop in cleanliness. These little jerks have nothing to complain about anymore. One of them turned the Roomba on. Accidentally. I gotta fix that. Oh no. He's lost. Girls, what can you do? Where's his little home? You can do it, buddy. You can do it. I know. I know. It's so hard to be a Roomba. Isn't nature beautiful? No, my ferrets will like run on top of it and then they sometimes accidentally turn it on. It's normally Andromeda. It was Andromeda this time. My floor is so dirty and I was gonna run the Roomba last night, but I forgot. Now I gotta do it tonight because I don't like running it um, when the ferrets are running around because sometimes they're really annoying. So the dig box that we made last video, it's been going really good. My ferrets really, really like it. Um, it's kind of messy. Like there's dirt all over here and all over there so I have to clean like you know every day to clean it up. I think it's worth it though they have a lot of fun and um gets a lot of their energy out especially Lyra she has so much energy in the morning. I'm gonna go check on Nova because I have to get changed anyway. Let's see how our old lady's doing. Oh god my room is so messy. So yeah Nova slept with us for this morning and I let her into my closet. I normally don't let the ferrets into my closet but she loves to sleep in my sock drawer and my underwear drawer. She deserves it, you know? The reason they, they aren't allowed in there is because one of my ferrets, who will remain nameless, <coughs> likes to chew socks, and that's obviously not safe. That's a blockage risk. So, I don't let my ferrets into the closet. They I used to let them in here, and they slept all the time in here. But I let Nova in last night because she's a good girl. I don't want to wake her up because I'll feel bad. Although actually, you know what? Maybe I should wake her up because then she can go to the bathroom before we leave. That's a good call. I'm gonna wake her up. Take back what I just said. Oh my God, she pulled all my socks out and made a nest. Nova, 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 Nova. Miss old lady, we get to go to the vet today. She doesn't like the vet because they always poke her. They always poke her at the vet. Oh, good morning. You look a little stunned. Like a little shooketh. I know. Do you want to go potty before we go to the vet? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get changed and let Nova go to the bathroom. Private time for both of us, I would say. Nova deserves respect and she can use the litter box without being filmed. I love you. Yeah, let's go litter box. She doesn't want to go to the bathroom. She's just sitting there sniffing Luna from under the door. I'm sorry, Nova. I'm sorry. You just can't eat anything. I know. 
No, that's why we woke up so early this morning and you had breakfast. Oh my god, it's so hard to beat her. I really wanted to poop before we go because I don't want her to poop in the kennel. But there are some things that you cannot control with ferrets. One of them is their bowel movements. <laughs> what is that noise for, honey? <laughs> what? Okay, I think, I think she's thirsty. I'm gonna go get her some water. Cute shirt, check. Oh, I think I've worn this shirt in a video before. The problem is I only own four shirts. I don't have a budget that tells me I can be fashion savvy, so I just rotate the same four shirts. But they still cute. All right, so Nova's in her carrier. There's kind of dirt everywhere. I'm gonna really quickly wipe that down so that the vet doesn't judge me. It was just next to my dig box, okay? Um, Nova, is, Luna is, Luna's being sad. <laughs> She's like, where are you taking my shishta? Um, I'm just giving her a chance to drink some water before we leave. She doesn't seem very interested in it, but I'm gonna leave it in there for a couple minutes. Hopefully she doesn't spill it. She might just spill it, but you know what? It's a chance I have to be willing to take to make sure my baby girl's hydrated. Luna, no, you don't want to go with her. I do sometimes take Luna with me, but because her checkup's a little more extensive um, today, so I just don't feel good making my vet babysit two ferrets. <laughs> so Luna's not coming this time. Okay, no, we're gonna stop that. Nova is a cage rager and it's a problem. I call this one the Canadian tap dance. Okay. All right, so we are in the car. I'm parked. It's not safe to film and drive, okay? Don't do that. Um, my car almost didn't start, so. I'm glad it started. I don't know why I was having issues, but here's Nova in her little carrier here. I like to keep it covered just to reduce a little bit of stress. And then normally she just sleeps on the way to the vet. Before we go to the vet, I do have to go be a good little Canadian and get myself some Timmies. Um, cause I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm gonna go get my coffee and then we're gonna go to the vet. Right, Nova? Right. Are you a wears a mask when you go through the drive-through type or a doesn't wear a mask when you go through the drive-through type? Cause I honestly don't know what the protocol is. I just do it. Um, cause you can never be too safe. And I'm paranoid. I don't know. I feel like when you're at the window, at least you should. Cause like, there's a person there. My glasses are all foggy. That's not very safe. Hey there, can I get a medium double double, but with soy milk instead of cream? Okay. And just that. 185 for them. Thank you. We don't have any soy right now. Do you guys have almond milk? That's fine. Dude, they were out of soy milk. They gave me almond milk instead. Ha! <laughs> Only charged me for soy milk. Almond milk costs more. I think I made out with the uh, the winner in this situation. Um, now I have to stop my car and pull out my phone because um, I've been going to this vet every single month for the past year. And my directionally challenged still needs to use maps to find it. I'm gonna turn my camera off because I don't want to use my camera while I'm driving because um, that's not safe. But I'll see you guys when I'm at the vet. We have arrived at the clinic. I have to give him a call. Oh, it's the phone number again. Hey there, I'm just here with uh, Nova for her 11:20 appointment. Oh, Kenya, we're gonna do a Lupron today? Yes, and um, just testing her blood sugar and stuff to see if she needs her insulinoma medicine upped. Um, so now I sit here and drink my coffee and wait for her to be done. That's what I'm gonna do. 20 minutes later. All right, so I just got off the phone with the vet. They still have Nova in there. They're just getting her um, medication together for her. Pretty good news for everything. Her insulinoma is, you know, under control. Her adrenal, you know, it's kind of just doing what it does. There's nothing they can really do about that. Um, she has lost quite a lot of fur, but the vet says, from my understanding of what the vet told me, um, it's just gonna be a seasonal thing. And once she blows her winter coat and her summer coat comes in, she might end up getting some of that hair back because something about the cycle of the hair follicles, I, I get confused, guys, I'm not a vet. So it seems like, you know, maybe in summer her coat will come back. If not, you know what, that's just how it is. You get bald ferrets when they get old, that's just life. I don't mind having a bald ferret so long as I have an alive ferret. Now Nova is going to be prescribed a new medication. Cannot remember the name of it, I will have it written down below or I'll show you guys the bottle when I get it. Um, and basically what it is, is it's to help prevent ulcers with her um, pred, which she's on for the insulinoma. The problem with the insulinoma 
only medication she's on is that it can cause ulcers. So what this medication is gonna do is I'll give it to her 20 minutes before she gets her pred and it'll just coat the inside of her stomach so that once she gets the pred, um, it just kind of prevents the ulcers from forming. I didn't know that this medication existed, but my vet told me it was a good idea since she has been on her pred for almost two years now. It's a pretty long time. So yeah, I'm gonna start her on that. Um, it was not very expensive. It's only $35 for me to get a bottle. It's gonna last me like three months. So why would I not do it? The vet said that it's just a preventative thing and it's not going to hurt her even if she isn't getting ulcers yet. So I just feel like may as well get it, right? Yeah. So I'm just waiting for uh, them to give me another call so that I can pay them because I have to do that and um, get Nova back. I miss my baby. I miss my girl. Oh, we also upped her um, Lupron. The Lupron is something that I get comments about a lot. Um, I don't think that it's quite as common for ferrets to be on Lupron when they have adrenal disease. Um, Nova gets Lupron because the DES implant, which is something that more people seem familiar with, is not something that is very common where I live. Um, mostly the DES implant is reserved for zoos and wildlife. Where I live, we give ferrets Lupron instead. It's the same drug, it's just at a smaller dose. So instead of getting a six month or annual DES implant, they get a Lupron shot every single month. So that's why I am at the vet so often. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just gonna hang tight. The guy in my car next to me is vaping. I think he brought a rabbit in. I do not know. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. And now the announcement you guys have all been waiting for. I'm doing a giveaway. So I'm doing a giveaway for three of my business boxes, which I talk about constantly on this channel. I'm doing a giveaway on Instagram, TikTok, and in my Discord server. So if you guys want more information on that, I will link in the description of this video, the posts about that really, really simple to enter. You basically just have to like the Instagram post or the TikTok and you can enter all three of them. So please enter all three of them because it gives you more chances to win. There are certain things you can do to get more chances like following me on Instagram. It explains it in all the posts. So just go follow the links. Best of luck. And now back to the video. All right, we've got our little Miss Nova back. Oh, baby, you had a bad time. Oh, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> she hates the vet. I'm just gonna get her crate covered up again and then she can take a little nap. So here's the new meds that we got. I will open those when I get home and take a look at them. I'm going to head home, get this bad boy home as soon as I can so she can see her sisters and eat some breakfast because she hasn't done that yet, my poor girl. Canadians be like, oh yeah, bud, let me just plug my car in. Nova, she can't hear me. There's no point in calling her. <sighs> All right, so we're back from the vet. Um, Nova doesn't really wanna be held right now. I might put her down. You know, things things are kind of just where they should be with her. The vet also did find a couple spots on her back and the vet wasn't sure if, oh, she does not wanna be held. She just got poked a lot, so I'll put her down. The vet isn't too sure if it's mast cell tumors, which she has had before, or it's just uh, bite marks. It looks to me like it's just bite marks. Um, she and Ilara sometimes get into little scuffs. No, you can't eat that. Uh, they're not deep or anything. They're just little tiny scabs, so I'm not too worried about it, but I am gonna keep an eye on those uh, just to make sure. Nova has had them before and they left without any issues, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, But yeah, you know, she's running around right now stashing her toys and looking for something to eat. Nova, there's food in your food dish, you silly girl. Hello. I think she just wants to put her toys away, but yeah, she's, she's doing pretty good. Um, the vet did talk to me about joint mobility and stuff. If I'm noticing that it's getting really bad, she has another medication that she might want me to try just to sort of help with that. Um, but you know, I've noticed her kind of slowing down with her joints and stuff, but it hasn't gotten too bad. It's just kind of typical senior ferret right now. She's not struggling too much to move around besides getting in and out of her cage, which I'm gonna be fixing that problem um, in next week's video, I think. That's pretty much today, I guess. Thank you guys so much for coming with me on my journey here to get Nova to the vet. Oh, now she's going in to eat. Good, she needs food. Um, thank you guys for all the support with the whole senior ferret thing. The unfortunate part about senior ferrets is that, you know, this just happens. That's why it's so important to make sure you're taking your senior ferrets to the vet every six months, just to make sure things are still going smoothly because they can go from zero to 10 overnight. Hey, it's not the Lyra show today. I know you want it to be the Lyra show, but it's not the Lyra show today. Oh, I'm glad Nova's eating. Okay, um, that's gonna be it for today's video. I think I have nothing else to add to this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I don't normally do vlogs, but I just felt like, you know, it might be something interesting to vlog about just going to the vet. Look at Luna. Oh, she's on this side. A little acrobat. Jeez. Can I?
She just does this. She loves to nibble my fingers. She doesn't bite hard. She's just nibbling them. What are you doing? It's not like she's teething or anything. Like, she's got her adult teeth. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? You just want to be loved? You just want to be held? Oh. Oh, I got Luna. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. I'll see you guys next week when I do something. I'm not sure what yet, because I don't plan it far ahead. Um, have a great rest of your week, guys. Goodbye.